five. What's up, Money Geeks, Mr. V here. Welcome to another video, guys. So in today's video, I want to share with you guys five stocks that I think that would actually double or triple after this pullback. So if you are interested in building positions in this company, I think where they are currently sitting is a good place for you to start, um, you know, just to open a small position and start averaging your way into the stock. So that's what I want us to cover in today's video. But before we get started, guys, if you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So if that's something that interests you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. So guys, again, we've seen this pullback in the market and it's not been fun. A lot of people have actually lost a lot of money. All the gains that you took three, four, five, six months to build disappear in less than a week. And you're sitting there in the red. You're thinking like, what is going on here? Why didn't I secure some of this profit? All these different feelings going through your mind. I understand that I've been in your shoes. I know exactly how that feels. Even right now, there's certain stocks that I, I'm actually building myself up to. Like I should have secured profit for those other uh, particular stocks. But um, again, when it comes to the market, nobody can really time the market and win. It's just not functionary. You cannot, you don't know exactly when the crash is gonna happen. You don't know exactly where the bottom is gonna be. And then so you, all you have to do is use your instincts and uh, it's better for you to be in the market than to be on the sideline. That's just the bottom line. So five stocks that I want us to cover in today's video, guys. Again, these are stocks that are all tech stocks, but tech stocks that are spread across different areas. So it's a combination of tech, uh, healthcare, um, manufacturing, and all that, but spread across different sectors. Let's jump right in and take a look here. So the first one that you see here is NEO. Again, guys, you guys know about NEO. I've talked about the NEO here on the channel. I've covered NEO over and over again. I like the company. It's a Chinese based electric vehicle manufacturing company. I do like them. Um, but the last two weeks or so, the stocks is actually taking some beating and actual pullback, which to me, the correction is just getting the stock back to uh, where it, it, it was supposed to be before we had that crazy run in 2020. So if you were looking to get into the stock, guys, this would be an absolute best time for you to open uh, a position and start averaging your way into the stock. So I still really like NEO and I see NEO um, as a $100 stock. I mean, this thing went um, as high as 60 two dollars sixty three dollars before pulling back so when we get this whole thing balanced right now even if it takes us back to 62 that's already almost double 63 64 that almost double what you invested in and so to me i think uh neo again is a good player in the chinese space if you want that exposure Let's move to number two is uh, Palantir. Again, I covered Palantir here before they actually went public uh, with their IPO. So I told you guys why I like the company. Um, just the fact that technology developing of the data integration um, across different um, sectors, different um, organizations, I do like them. Um, so far, the company hasn't even like really gone through uh, a bad time as far as this pullback. Because if we see here, the company is sitting at 24 right now. The, the most they came down was around 21 and then bounced right off and then just kept moving. So if you can see here, 21 was the, the, the lowest point. And again, I'm not saying that this pullback is completely done, but I'm saying if you are looking to average your way into a stock, when you see opportunities like this, when you see this $21 price point, that is a place where you can say, okay, if I want to own 100 shares of this stock at 21, I can buy 10 shares or 20 shares and open a position at least be in the stock and then look into add. Let's go to number three here. Number three is C3 AI. This is one that I also covered here before they went public. I told you guys why I like the company. Um, it's an artificial intelligence company. Uh, so they provide enterprise solutions for different organizations. I really like the company. Again, I have an in-depth video that covers the company and what they do. If you don't, if you don't, if you haven't already watched that video, I'm gonna hook it up here so you can go check that out. But I when this company came out, you can see here, I'm just pulling at three months. You see here came out, listed date was on December. 9. So it came out at $100, pulled back to 92. I missed this entry point because I, I mean, my strategy, I've always told you guys, when I see IPOs, if I don't, if I day trade them, I usually wait for a pullback before I can get in. So I missed this pullback and this thing squeezed all the way to 130, pulled back again here, like at 102. And I kept thinking, come down to me under $100. 
it never did. From there, it squeezed all the way up to 177. And you can you can understand how frustrating this could be for me. And I, but I stuck to my guns. I said, no, my target price to get in would be under $100. I wasn't ready to get into this over 100. So I waited and waited and here we are. And I finally got uh, my position started here at about $80. That was my entry point average for my entry, $80. So I'm pretty happy with what I did there in terms of just staying, staying um, you know, with my, my game plan. I didn't push it. I didn't formal didn't come into the equation because most people would have jumped in like, oh, I'm missing, look at this, from 102 to 177. A lot of people would have jumped in and was like, I don't want to miss out, but I said for long term, I want this thing under $100 and it came to me. So I like that. The next one is skills. So again, this one is a mobile gaming platform that connects uh, developers and players and, and they have different competitions that they organize for their uh, competitors and then people can win money or even win uh, championships playing the game. So this one is another one I like. Uh, Kathy Wood also bought shares of uh, skills and they bought shares of uh, Palantir just so you guys know. And so I do like uh, skills a lot and um, this is again another opportunity for people that didn't get a chance to get into skills to get in. See if you see here again, pull down to 24 bucks. This would, this would have been an excellent position if you wanted to start, you start averaging your way in so I still like this one. So let's see what the three months look here. So a high of about 43, that's about $44. So even right now, 40 at 27, that's not too bad. It's a good place for you to start maybe averaging your way into the stock. And last but not the least here, I have Butterfly Network, ticket symbol BFLY. This one just went public recently. As a matter of fact, um, when they when they went public, the stock actually saw a little squeeze. So if you can see here, um, when they announced that they were gonna go public, you can see here, this is that right there, $27. And then it's now pulled down all the way to 16. So if you are looking to get into the stock, guys, this would be a great opportunity to start averaging your way because this thing is, I don't think, uh, at $16, once this thing takes off, it would it be gone. So if you don't have this, you can open a position again and start averaging your way in, into this stuff. So one quick thing I want to really uh, drive home here, guys, is that when I talk about you opening a position into a particular stock, so when I say, hey, this stock would double, you can buy it. Most of you um, maybe don't quite understand the approach here. And so that's why I want to drive this home. When I say open a position, again, what I'm, I'm telling you is that I'm not in the business of you going out there. If you want to buy uh, a thousand shares of a particular stock, you just go buy a thousand shares right off the bat unless you know that this is probably just gonna be a quick trade day trade or swing trade that you just go right in make some profit and get out but if you're looking to buy long term I want you to buy uh, reasonably I want you to buy dips so if you see a stock that's pulled back 50% you open your first position there if you want to own 100 shares it's okay I'm gonna start with 20 or I'm gonna start with 30 and then see which direction the market it goes so you can average your way down or you can average your way up but at the end of the day at least you give yourself a little bit of buffer so that you, you don't jump in at let's say $25 and then the thing just drops all the way to 20 and you're down $5 um, spread. So that, that's something that I want you to put in your mind. But if you had gone in at 25 and bought 10 shares, it goes down to 24 or 23, you buy another 10, it goes down to 20, you buy another 10 or 20. When you do your average, you're sitting at about $22.50 or $23, not the 25 where you started. But that way, when the stock starts to recover, your recovery is gonna be faster than somebody that's gonna be sitting at 25 waiting. Uh, so that's, again, that's a mindset that I want you to develop. Develop the mindset of slowly averaging your way into a position, especially for your long-term positions. And then once you have a position established, and then you can just keep adding when you see a dip. So if you see a good company, let's say Square, you see a dip, you jump right in and add a few. Anytime you see a dip, you jump right in and add a few and just let it ride for, for the long run. So that's something that I wanna make sure that you guys have. So let me know, get in the comment section, which stocks are you buying right now that you see the potential of it doubling or tripling in the next six to eight months? Again, guys, the assumption here is that 
this pullback is not going to last forever. So if this pullback is done in the next week or two, and then we can see that slow recovery back. Uh, when you go in, know fully whether this might be a, a good swing trade or it might be a good long-term position for you to hold. And all these stocks, I love them long-term. Um, these are stocks that I would rather have long-term than just swing trade them because if you look at the companies and the way uh, the solutions that they provide in the marketplace, the gap that they're filling, I think there's a huge amount of opportunity there for these stocks to grow and I want to grow along with them again let me know in the comment section what you are buying if you're new to the channel we talk about how to earn money how to save money how to invest and build wealth so if that's something that interests you go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on your content also if you want to get started with investing guys Rebo is doing a promotion where if you sign up and deposit a hundred dollars you get free stocks links in the description below and as always do your due diligence, don't be a greedy savage, stay motivated.